In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get access to DALI 3. Basically on the Bing app on your phone, if you open it up and if you do a test where you get it to write text, so in this example, I'm saying an image of SpongeBob holding a sign that says, welcome to under the sea, because it can do it, or if your Bing version can do it, it means that you have DALI 3, which is amazing, okay? I'm gonna show you in this video just how amazing it actually is, but I am so excited for this. It's gonna change the game when it comes to blogging, featured image posts, and look at that, it actually does the text almost perfectly. In some cases, it messes it up still, but you can see some of these are absolutely perfect. So this is, this is super exciting times, okay? Because we're gonna be able to make blog post images, we're gonna be able to make featured images, we're gonna be able to make t-shirt designs, we're gonna be able to make all this amazing stuff. So basically, I just wanted to test things um, to show everyone in this video what DALI 3 can actually do. If you can't get access through the app, then I have heard what you can also do is clear your cookies and go on Bing dot com yourself and then potentially you're going to get access to it as well now i did watch matt vid pro's video on this and i will link his channel if i remember in the description but basically what he was saying was it's not device based it's session based so even if you're not currently on it with your current device just keep trying keep removing cookies download different apps etc etc whatever it might be so this time I decided to do a transparent sticker design Kawaii Dolphin, but obviously I forgot to you know, tell it to write some kind of text. So I actually added at the bottom um, that makes a joke or pun about dolphins. And yeah, this is super, super exciting times. As soon as this API is out, we're going to be able to mass produce sticker designs, sell them on Etsy, sell them on whatever we want. This is probably the most exciting time that we've had in terms of AI image generation since something like Mid Journey was released. So if you tell it to actually make its own joke, it doesn't seem to be able to do jokes very well itself. So it doesn't seem to be able to think and produce at the same time. I think at the moment, at least, the, these two, so uh, ChatGPT and DALI 3, they kind of don't work together at the same time. So instead, I actually told it to write Free Willy, which if you don't know, is a film, a Disney film. So I don't recommend using it, but look how cute that is. It's, um, it's actually crazy, crazy good. So basically what I decided to start doing was to get it to think. So first of all, use ChatGPT on Bing Chat to give me a joke, and this will be possible all in the API, okay? So everything you see on the screen now eventually you can do it as steps in the API, which means we can automate a system to create a sticker with a joke for every single animal in existence, okay? Which is so cool. Like, it's not perfect yet. Obviously, there's still some things that need to happen, etc., etc. But just look how amazing this is. So a woolly drama, perfect little joke. So what I decided to do again, was create a llama transparent background sticker with kawaii um, style, stylism. And then I just wrote the joke that says uh, woolly drama or woolly llama, or woolly drama, whatever. Um, and then I told it to make the llama a diva, okay? Um, which I just thought was an interesting concept and I really, really wanted to see what it could do. Now, this is using tokens. It looks like we've only got 100 coins or 100 tokens to make our videos with right now, which is okay, but yeah, I, hopefully it gets unlimited pretty soon because I think we are going to need unlimited. Look how amazing these are. The text is perfect. The, the llama itself is perfect. Honestly, so, so exciting. You can actually right-click and save here. This will be a lot easier on your computer, obviously. I am doing this on my phone because I am in Florence right now. I'm not at home, and I, but I just really, really wanted to make a video about this. And then the final thing I wanted to test is whether it can just make a t-shirt design without filling in all of the gaps, okay? Because this is going to be the most important thing for a lot of people is whether or not it can create a design for a t-shirt or whatever it might be, it doesn't have to be a t-shirt, without filling in too many of the gaps. So what that means is instead of like making the background too noisy so that you can't actually see the 
design. In this case, the text completely fails here. It's almost there, but it did fail. So, I mean, it's definitely not 100% just yet. I think with more complicated prompts with too many words in, it's still struggling, which is fine. It's still a new concept. It's still brand new. It's still fresh. So it does need some testing before it's there. So for now, what I would advise you to do is to do much simpler prompts with very few amounts of words. So as you can see, it absolutely nails this bird feeder one. You can just remove the text at the bottom that's wrong. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more content.